Hey everybody, Infinite Drift here, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. In the last episode, we basically ran through the introduction of the game, character creation, and we escaped Helgen, which led us to Riverwood. Um, today, what I think I want to do is I want to focus on some side quests. Right now, in our quest book, we have Before the Storm, which is one of the main quests, I believe, and it will lead us to Whiterun. However, I kind of don't wanting to go there just yet. I want to explore Riverwood a bit because I know there's some quests around here that we can do. And with that, it'll get us some more XP. It'll allow us to explore the land around here. So I know there's a quest in one of the inns, I believe, that I would like to check out. And I think that one of the quests here also is a component to the main quest. So we might as well knock it off while we're here anyway, because it, it's just going to send us back to Riverwood if we ignore it and head directly to Whiterun. So let's check out the inn first. All right, what do you way, got to say? Orgnar, Orgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Come on, you got to serve the best to your you customers. I don't yep, think he's listening. Ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. Come on, you don't want to serve your customers stale beer. We got it's rooms business. and food. Drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. All right, Need well, room? maybe you talk to there's Delphine. something you can tell us. Um, I'm looking for work. Got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Okay, so we've got a bounty to kill the bandit leader located at the stream camp. We can take a look at that as well. I think there is another person we can talk to in this inn who might lead us towards um, one of the quests I was talking about earlier. Um, let's ask him about learning magic. Maybe he can lead us in a direction towards that as well. Looking to blow yourself up? I hear that's what magic does to you. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic, unless that blew up too. Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. Okay, so we've got College of Winterhold in our journal book now, which is good. Uh, let's ask him about some rumors as well. There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Dark Brotherhood. I am excited for that quest line. That's going to be good. It's going to be a while until we actually reach that, but once we do... What has she got in here? Oh, that coin purse. Oh. Around. Mm. I want to steal, but I feel bad. Give once I hit the Thieves ale. Guild, Coming right I up. do not feel guilty at all stealing, but right now it's a little bit early in the game. I just don't have the heart to do it. All right, let's see what this guy's up to, Sven. Feindolf thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Oh, here we go. I think I remember this quest. Okay, let's ask him about Feindel. Right. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Dude, I mean, like, if it sounds like they're pretty happy together. I don't think you should meddle between the two. If, if they're happy together, they're happy together, and there's nothing you can do about it say he sounds persistent why not do something about it or yes two people spending time together never blossoms into courtship we're definitely that going with that i've heard better wisecracks from orgnar ah, still you have a point camilla letting feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me here let me give you a particularly venomous <gasps> letter say it's oh from my feindel. god that should get camilla to stop inviting the elf over that is so rude so we have the option to deliver it, but we also have the option to tell about Sven's letter. And I think you can already tell which option I'm going to choose. I don't think I want to partake in this. It sounds a little sus. And if they're into each other, they're into each other, dude. There's nothing you can do. I'm sorry. Uh, let's mention the dragon to him real quick. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Yep. We will. We're planning on it. Uh, is there somewhere I can buy fresh Lucan's supplies? Lucan's got a little bit of everything at the Riverwood Trader. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. 
Sounds good. All right, mm -hmm. I think we've done enough talking with him. Um, let's talk to Delphi. You're for that a second. visitor, been poking around. See if she's got any rumors she can spill. Word is Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War is only going to get worse now. All right, not much she can give us in ways of quests or anything. So let's head out, and I think we'll go to the uh, the trader. I believe it's this one. Yeah, Riverwood Trader. Perfect. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Um, Camilla, you are involved in the other quest we had with the letter. So I'm wondering maybe I should talk to her first. Let's maybe do that. you could talk some sense into my pig headed brother. Yeah, we're ratting we're ratting Sven out. I'm sorry. I just I just can't do this. If her and Feindal are happy, they're happy, and there's nothing that he can do about what it. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He he wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Yeah. Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Until next sure time. thing. Let's um, talk to Fandal first before we talk to him about the other quest that I was planning on grabbing. I think it's the one with the golden claw. That's the quest we'll be doing today. Uh, where is Fandal though? It's a very good question. Let's unlock that one. Here we go. He must be probably in here somewhere. Wait, this is Sven's house, though. Nobody believes me, but I tell you. I saw a dragon. All right, where are you, buddy? Oh, probably over here. Perfect. All right, we'll run into his house. Tell him what's up. Maybe we'll get a friend out of this for helping him out. Friends are always nice to have in this game. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. There's beauty here unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. Hey, he can also train us to be better at archery, apparently. Let's talk to him about Camilla first, because I'm sure he'll appreci appreciate us helping him I out. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some there gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Sweet. Can always do with some more gold. Um, let's see what he says about archery. I'll show you what I know. Ew, cost two fifty. Nah, we can we can do this ourselves. We we can level ourselves up. We can have him as a companion though for our next quest. I'm wondering if maybe we should do that. It it wouldn't hurt to have an, a, a companion with us. Let's do it. Oh shit! Did I just hit something? Yo, I just knocked your the kettle over. I'm sorry about that. Do you have anything? Oh, I can just I can just search the stuff. Sweet. Magica. Okay, we can take this bread. You know we're gonna need the bread. Gives us health. Let's read this book, see if it'll give us any stat increase. Damn it, nothing. That's okay. End table's empty though. Anything else? What you got in this cupboard? A really creepy doll. And a wooden sword. I think I'll pass. Thank you, though. Oh, sweet. True shot potion and minor healing. That works. Some of these books probably are going to give us stat increase as well. Nope. All right. I'm just going to pass through these real quickly. We won't read them. Is there one right behind this? Oh, it's a war axe. Eh, that's all right. We can sell it off if we don't need it. Search is covered. Leather strips. I feel like there's 10 of them, but they don't really weigh anything. Let's grab them. They'd be good for crafting things in the future, so I don't necessarily need them right now, but let's just grab them anyway. There's some clothes. Okay, take that. We'll take the gold though, and maybe the wolf pelt and the bear pelt. I'm gonna sell this stuff pretty much right away, I think. I think we're gonna hit up the blacksmith as well. There's a lot of stuff here that we could take, actually. 
Let's take this helmet. Let's just take all of this and sell it. He is so generous to leave this for us. Baked potatoes. Why not? A whole feast. Oh, we hit the jackpot here. Cheese wheels. Let's do it. I'm going to have no weight left in my inventory. But you know what? I'm going to eat all of this when we end up doing all the quests. So it's fine. It's fine. All right. I think we've grabbed pretty much everything as long as it wasn't like bolted to the floor. I think it's safe to say that we can go. All right. Let's see if... They're not here, obviously, right now. I wonder if we can wait a bit. And then we can talk to the blacksmith, sell some stuff off, and then grab that quest and go. They're still not out yet. Oh, there they are. Hey, buddy. Can I sell some stuff to you? Whatever you need. My is simple and strong. Actually, you know I what? We can just it. sell it to the trader. My bad. That's what I realized. So we'll sell to him. We'll grab the quest and sell the to him. Riverwind Trader is everything you need in a general store. All right, let's ask him if something happened. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in. But we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Sounds a little strange, dude, but all right. You could. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, Sounds like a fair trade. We need you we always need gold, Falls so. Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I by the eight fine, but only to the edge of town. All right, she, it sounds like she's going to walk us over to the bridge. Let me see if I can trade Show with him the, real some quick. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. So let's try to get rid of some of our... I'm pretty sure we have like a lot of things we can get rid of right now. Bear pelt. Don't need that. Bear claws. <laughs> I have a lot. The ale I'm going to keep. You never know. I just have a feeling we're going to need a lot of the food because I usually run low on health and... You know what? Everything counts. Everything counts. The iron mace, I believe that's one-handed. Iron war axe, one-handed as well, but we have three, so let's get rid of one. Same with these daggers. We have three longbows. I don't think that's necessary as much as I'd like to keep it. <laughs> I need to learn to let go in this game. That's my problem. The shield, we're not going to be using it. It's heavy. Uh, heavy iron helmet. No way. Not a chance. Uh, how much gold do we have? We have 324 right now. He still has 650, so we're good. These hoods, not going to be using magic, so let's get rid of those as well. Tunic. The foot wrap. See you later. All these potions we'll keep. Our food, you know, they're not getting their hands on our food. Uh, all these mountain flowers and stuff, they don't really weigh much, so let's keep those around. Let's keep these as well. Anything in here... Maybe the wolf pelt. Let's get rid of that. And that's about it. And the roll of paper. Actually, you know what? We can... It doesn't matter. Let's keep that. Awesome. So that freed up some right. space in our inventory. Let's see what we have here. So 120 of 300. That's pretty good. And we have 474 gold right now. That's not bad. All right. Let's follow her out. And head towards we the bridge. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. All right, thank you Those for showing us the must way. Those be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Oh my God, their walking speed is so awkward. If you walk really slow, they go too fast. But then, if your normal walking speed. There you go. You're too fast. What the heck? Claw. I mean, we have things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds like it has some shady history to it. Come on. It's so awkward. Now I'm going too slow. I'm too far behind. Let's catch up to her. Oh. Too fast. 
Fane Dolls with us still, sweet. Thanks, buddy. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Thank you. All right, buddy, let's go. Let's head on to our new adventure. All right, up the mountain. What is that noise? What? What is that? Oh, wait, is that like a bird stuck in a tree or something? I'm really confused. It looks like it's glitched into the tree. Is it just stuck there? Really weird. Anyway, so let's just head up this mountain, see what's around here. Hopefully there's not too many enemies, but we've got our trusty friend with us who will keep us company through this. He's honestly probably gonna get most of the kills here. I'm I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna be pretty useless compared to him. Is that a wolf? Let's see. Got him. Where you at? Ooh, that was a good hit. Proud of myself for that one. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's grab the wolf pelt. Can I grab some of these arrows though? Take that one back. I don't think I can take that back though. That's alright. Alright, I think I can assign stuff to my favorite so I can have a hot bar so I can easily switch between arrow and dual wield. So let's try that. Let's favorite. Oops, not the iron sword, but that's okay. Let's not do that one. Let's do the war axe has 9 damage, 8 damage, 10. So war axe and mace seems like a pretty good thing to do right now. The iron warhammer, that's one hit. I should have gotten rid of that. That's okay. The hunting bow is 8. The long bow is 7. Let's go with hunting bow. Let's try this out real quick. Perfect. So these two, and then if I want to switch, boom. Smooth. Still with us? Heck yeah, you are. Alright, let's just run up here real quick. Pass through some of this. I don't think there's really much to look at around here. Except in the distance, that looks like... Yep. Yeah, looks like a little bandit camp or something, so we'll check that out. I want to regen some of my stamina, though. So I'm going to be hitting them. I'm not going to have anything left. Let's try to be a little bit sneaky about this. I don't... They, they can't be friendly, are they? Shit, they're undetected, apparently. Let's see. Maybe I can get the edge on them here. Oh, yeah. Sneak increased. Still doesn't notice me. Oh, shoot. He got me. It was Feindel. He's the one who made us. Give oh, shoot. Still can. Ah! Okay, I should probably switch. Oh, yeah. Anything good? Anything good? We got some armor. Let's just take all this stuff, and I will sort through the inventory after. All right, let's just rush in. Except I don't want to fall off this bridge. Maybe an epic bridge battle is a bit bad of an idea, but... Thank you, Fandel. Oh gosh. Wait, we did a level up too. I think I I think the first thing I'm gonna do is level up my stamina. It's definitely lagging a little bit. Uh what's he got? Anything good? Uh I don't wanna take mm, I'll take a bit of this armor and we'll sell it later. Leave some of it behind though, otherwise I'm gonna be over encumbered. Sweet, got a coin purse. Let's see what's up here. And then after I search up here, we'll level ourselves up. Anything good? It's all random stuff. Pile of salt. I'm salty enough as it is. Sweet, a loot chest. Alright, just a bunch of gold. Nice. I honestly, I nearly, I nearly forgot to save which would it could have been catastrophic in this game and I'm lucky it actually already hasn't crashed. Uh no, not items. Let's level up. 
So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do stamina first. And then we'll go, we'll kind of bounce back and forth between stamina and health. Uh, what have we got here? I think the last thing we leveled up was the light armor, actually. So maybe I'll do something like one-handed. Did we level this up? No, we didn't, actually. So we can do one-handed. Or archery. Archery would be nice, too. Sneak would also be good. Sneak and lockpicking. But what I think is what we're going to do is... Oops. We'll start with one-handed, and then we'll do archery for our next one, maybe. Just so we can get a little bit more damage in our hits. Excellent. Alright, buddy, let's go. Which way am I going? Here we go. Gotta just cross that bridge. Head up the mountain, and we'll be where we need to be. I think we can sprint here. I don't think there's gonna be many enemies for the next little bit. Doesn't seem to be that much around here. Except, okay, here we go. This is our destination. Look how spooky that is. I love it. Bleak Falls Barrow. I'm starting to remember this quest a little bit from when I played, like, honestly, I feel like it's been 10 years since I played this game. That's pretty crazy. I... I spent so many hours on this game when I was younger. It used to be my favorite. I would come home. I remember I got it when I was in university. And I played it for probably like three weeks straight. I don't know why I took the arrow out. They're just gunning straight for me. That was a really bad idea. I was a little bit too nostalgic in the moment. Fangdal, you're really helping me out here. You're a bro. I love ya. Sure, I'm Sorry, buddy. Alright, you got anything good? Your fur shoes. They're kind of ugly, though. I'm sorry. The hide armor is okay. Ooh, okay. I know it says the steel warhammer is worth 110. We're probably going to sell it off for like 10 gold, but you know what? Let's just take it anyway. Maybe we can switch out some of our armor as well. Alright, what have we got equipped right now? We have... The Imperial Light Helmet, the Imperial Boots are all around 12, 7, Stormcloak, 23, this is 22, so we won't, we're not going to switch that out. The Boots are 7, these are 6. Everything is pretty much on par. Um, yeah, we're just going to stick with what we've got for now then, sell everything off later. That's okay though. Wondering if there's any loot around here. Oh, that is a bandit. I was trying to be sneaky, and I thought everybody was gone so I could just do what I wanted, but I guess not, huh? Is there anything around here? Don't want to fall off the edge. That would be tragic. Nah. Can we grab these arrows, though? Hell yeah, we can. Free stuff. You know I always like free stuff, so. Anything around here? Nope. I feel like we should probably just head in. I don't think there's much on the outside of this place. Okay, Fandal. I know you're not good at sneaking. It's you who keeps getting us spotted. But you have to try really hard to be sneaky, okay? It's not me. It's not me. It's you. Let's try really hard to sneak up on these people. You can do it. Let's aim a little bit above his head. <laughs> At least they think it's coming. Oh, that was a pretty good hit. They think it's coming from that direction, or they thought it was. Oh shit. Uh oh. Nope. <laughs> I have such a bad shot. Thank God I've got this. Oh, I've got this guy with me. Oh my God, this is brutal. Okay, okay. Oh, Feindel. That final hit. Such grace. I like how I, I'll take all of this stuff for some reason, even if I don't need it, but I refuse to take the fur boots or whatever because they're so ugly to me. I'm like, I can't. I can't take those. I cannot. 
Uh, see, oh, they're just so ugly. I just don't want them in my inventory. I'll take the armor, though. That's cool. I'm carrying too much already? What? Really? Oh my god. Okay, you know what? You're right. I am being a little bit ridiculous. We do need to drop some things. Especially because we just entered this area. We just entered the cave, and if this is the start we're off to, then no. It's not gonna work. Uh, fur shoes. Let's get rid of them. They ugly. Get rid of two of those. That gave us a little bit more room, huh? Search the chest. Ooh, lock picking time. Come on. What is this? Amateur hour? Okay, there's some stuff in there. There's some useful things. Is there anything in these? Doesn't look like it, so... I think that's pretty much all of it. I keep almost holding down on tab so I can, um... Whoops, did not mean to shoot that. So I can turn a flashlight on, like in Fallout, because I play a lot more Fallout than I do Skyrim. And I'm always like, why isn't it working? And I realized this is not a game where you would ever have a flashlight. Wrong game. All of these burial urns usually contain, like, gold and stuff, so we'll take quick peeks into them. They're pretty useful. If you search through them, you'll get a little bit of loot. Whoops. Nothing up here. I've been tricked. I've been tricked. Vandal, you still with me? I'm a little bit scared of these cave noises. I'm not gonna lie, and I'm glad I have a companion with me because I'm scared. I don't want to do this alone. I am the least- I'm the last person who should be like a warrior and an explorer. I'm such a baby when it comes to all this stuff. It's like in Minecraft, like even like the smallest cave noise will set me off and scare me and I'm like, I'm done. <gasps> we can sneak. Alright. Leave this one to me, Feindel. I want to be the hero. Right in the butt. Boom. Oh my gosh. Bar barely did any damage on him. He's angry though. Enough. Enough. I'm sorry, guy. I'm sorry. Had to be that way. Uh, ooh. I feel like this is better than what we've got. Let's take a quick look at that. I've got the. Do I even have pants on? I honestly don't even know. <laughs> I don't think I have pants. Where are they? Are pants a thing in this game? Studded armor. Oh, I see. No. Okay, yeah, I do. I do have them. I mean, why? Oh, I see. Never mind. I'm silly. Okay, so we got a little bit of a puzzle here. Looks like snake. The fallen one is snake. And the last one is whale. Alright, got that one. One more. Finally, let's get whale. And let's pull the lever. Heck yeah. Is there anything up here though, before we go? Yes there is, I can already spot the potion. Nice. Okay. trust this. I feel like there's a bunch of Draugr around here. Sweet, more potions, which probably means we're gonna need them. We've got some pickpocket grease. Let's take all this gold. We got some soul gems too, which is pretty sweet. Can use those later. Don't remember exactly how to use the soul gems. It's to enchant, I'm pretty sure, but I remember using them a lot when I last played this game. Head down these stairs. Oh my god, there's a rat! He just like completely passed by me. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> oh no, he's sliding down. Ah, there's another one! No. Oh my god, it's infested. I need to call an exterminator here. I bet that would be a lucrative business in Skyrim. There seems to be a lot of skeevers around. You should. 
If you fired up that business, I swear to God, like everybody and all of, is it Skyrim, Tamriel? I don't even know. But point is, everybody would be calling for your business. You would never ever be out of work. That's for sure. Oh. I can hear a voice. Who the heck are you? Search a skeleton, got some gold. Oh, hello, Fandel. He was just really up in my grill right there. Uh, anything worthwhile here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's bust through these webs. Oh, God, no. Alright, let's try to get some hits with the bow. If I can. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Alright, I gotta switch back. Maybe what I'll do is I'm gonna, um... Put some, not frostbite venom. What about some paralysis potion on one of my weapons? Maybe that'll help. I might die here, honestly. Maybe that'll help me. Help me, sweet man. My health is low, I should drink the potion. Yeah, I really should, but he's almost dead. I have faith. Yeah! Hey, buddy, listen, I got it. I got it under control. It's all good. Let's see if he has anything good. He's got more frostbite venom and a bunch of arrows that we probably put into him anyway. Search these urns real quick. Okay, these sounds are really creeping me out. Anything worthwhile with spider eggs? I'm not sure. Like, I know they must have some use to them if you can pick them up, but I just don't even know. Some gold in these don't poor unfortunate me. people. Okay, say. okay, sir, listen. I'm gonna be doing you a favor by getting you out of there. You can you can hold your horses. You're just making me want to delay it further. Oh leave me for RK's sake. Okay, what do you want? You did it, you killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. He's kinda rude though, don't you think? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Something tells me not to trust him. I don't know why, but I just don't. Hand over the claw Does it first. Look like I could move? You have to cut me down first. Sure, sure. I mean, I'm gonna cut you down anyway, but I just don't trust you, buddy. All right. You fool! Why should oh. I share the treasure with anyone? What the hell, buddy? Ooh, is that loot? I don't know what's. I, I got a loot. I got a loot. All right, so we got some healing potions. Anything else in here? There's some good stuff in this cave, I swear. Okay, these noises though are kind of out of control. They're freaking me out. All right, we'll take all this. Embalming tools. Spooky. I think that's pretty much everything in this area. Okay. Where did this guy go? I probably should have chased after him rather than getting greedy like and going for the this. loot. I don't like the looks of it either, if I'm being honest. It's a little bit scary, and I don't trust these guys. I feel like some of them are going to pop out and kill us. And, uh, guess what? My inventory's full again. I do have to drop stuff. I can't keep picking everything up. This is... I'm doing it to myself, too. There we go. That should tide us over. Oh, gosh. Fandel, help me. Thank god I got my buddy here. Oh! I just hit him by accident. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. Here we go. I don't want to accidentally kill my companion. I do that so many times in these games. It's it's a problem. All right, let's try to get some rid of some of this shit too. I don't need twos and threes of all this stuff. I'm being greedy at this point. And this iron shield weighs quite a bit. Let's drop that as well. Oh, I didn't even see him. Oh, critical hit though. What you got? You got some gold. Potion of resist fire. Nice. There's some pretty good stuff. Let's see if I can grab some of this. 
Uh, yep. Lots of good gold and such. Oh shit, is that what's its face? Is that what's his face? Yeah, it's Arvel. Oh my gosh. Dude, you okay? <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> what happened? Oh shit, did he hit that? Did he hit- I- I didn't even see it because I was too busy looting the other room. He probably stepped on this and just went pfft, hit that trap door. Sorry, dude. You were kind of rude to me. I feel bad like <laughs> you're dead, but <laughs> you were mean, honestly. Uh, that sucks. I don't trust any of these to not wake up and haunt me. i search you anyway. Got some gold. You can usually tell which ones are gonna, like, awaken, but sometimes they still catch you off guard, so you never fully know. Okay. You're all wrapped up. There's no chance of you moving. Oh, I don't trust you. You're definitely alive. I knew it. You can't fool me, dude. See ya. You didn't even get a chance. Because we're that swift. Alright. Feigned out? I honestly do not know what I would do without you. There's another one right there. Oh! And this guy, he's moving. Oh, jeez. I want to be an archer, too. See ya. Oh, You came out of nowhere. Fangdell, save me. I'm trying to be just like you, but I'm worse, honestly. We got him. Alright, anything good here? We've got some gold, potions. I'd say the loot actually has been pretty decent. Arrows. Alright. Let's switch back to these. And search these guys real quick. Oh shit, I did not mean to take that. I'm gonna have to drop some stuff again. Oops, I did not want to favor that either. Studded armor. That's taking up a lot of weight in my inventory. Okay, there's some stuff that weighs quite a bit here, isn't there? 6-6. Six, six. It's probably honestly a lot of- yep. Here we go. Weight 22. That certainly ate up a lot of <laughs> inventory. Alright, anybody else I can loot here? I feel like I can get you. Took your gold, thank you very much. All right, we're gonna avoid that for a second. We're gonna head up here real quick, and we found a loot chest. Sweet. Glad I did that. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, almost there. Nice. Got some, actually, yeah, sweet, some lockpicks. A good potion. And we got level up out of that, so that helps as well. Let's actually do that real quick. Let's level up. I think we're gonna go for health right here. And I said the next one probably, let's just go with archery to get some damage for our weapons. I think I can run through here. Ah! I almost made it. Should have activated that chain for you. I'm sorry, dude. If it stops it, yeah, it does. Wasn't quick enough. Ooh, we've got these that we can knock down if we need to. Catch the Draugr off guard. Actually, let's pull out our bow. Because I'm sure there's going to be a couple more of those hanging around. And Oh, shite. He's already out. There we go. Sorry, Fandel. You're a little bit in the way. Let's see what he's got. Some gold. Gems. Perfect. Ah, see? Let's light this up. See if... Yep, he walked right into it. Perfect. He's just gonna... Yep, he's gone. Sorry! Sucks to suck. 
Oh, there's another one. Another one. It's actually two. It caught me off guard. Boom. <laughs> That's your best. Lots and lots of gold in here. It's nice. We become pretty wealthy off of this mission. And don't forget with Skyrim, save frequently. Otherwise, you will regret it when it crashes and you didn't save for like 10 to 15 minutes. You lose a lot of progress and you have a lot of backtracking to do. That's something that I've learned many times with this game and honestly, I guarantee I'm gonna do it again. Oh shit. Scary. Come on. Nice. All right. Well, I think we're going to leave the episode right here and we're going to continue in Bleak Falls Barrow in the next episode. So I think this is a pretty good point to leave off. We've leveled up to level three now and we basically covered, I think, just over half of um, half of this. Is it a temple or I'm not sure exactly what it'd be classified as. Either way, we've done quite a bit here and we've got some good loot and I think there's just a little mini boss in here that we're going to end up uh, coming into contact with next episode. Um, he's pretty much right towards the end of it and I think also there's a component in the main quest line in here as well. If any of you remember that, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to spoil it if, for so if you haven't played this game before. So, yeah, we'll end it right here, and in the next episode, we'll finish this off, head back to Riverwood, and we'll continue on with maybe some of the side quests. Maybe we'll head to Whiterun. We'll see how we feel in the next episode. Anyway, thank you, everybody, for watching, and if you liked this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.